toast to their career. The perfect combination, boy. Legends in the South. This is sports fans' only home for the hottest sports show around. These guys are on fire. You're now listening to KJ and Sean Mack. Welcome back to another episode of Last Take with your host, KJ, and my esteemed host over there, Sean Matt. What's the deal, baby? How you doing? Not much. Just want to greet everybody, you know. Hi. How you doing, Kay? I'm doing good, man. Uh, today, we wanted to get into a little Russell Westbrook talk. Since we're in the heat of the NBA season right now, it's really starting to get into uh, full swing. We wanted to talk about Russell Westbrook um, and his career, since he's in the twilight of his career right now. Some might say he's at the, oh, uh, yeah, I guess he's a little below the height of his career. His The height would probably be uh, the MVP season, right? Yeah, would I would say that. All right, so, uh, yeah, he's in this twilight of his career. So we want to get into a little Russell Westbrook talk. But before you do that, I want to do a little rundown of last night's games in the NBA. Uh, starting off with the Spurs, they beat the Hornets 122-110. to 110. The Lakers actually lost to the Nuggets 122-105. to 105. Uh, Sean Matt, not sure if you know, Anthony Davis is Achilles messing with him again. He had to really? Out, yeah, he had to come out of the game last oh, night. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, Wizards beat the Celtics 104-91. Timberwolves beat the Toronto Raptors 116-112. to Detroit Pistons beat the Pelicans 123-112. to The Mavericks lost to the Portland Trailblazers 121-118. to uh, Oklahoma City Thunder beat the Bucks 114-109. to The Suns beat the Magic 109-90. The Grizzlies beat the Kings, Sacramento Kings 124-110. to And the Los Angeles Clippers, who's starting to come on. They're, I think they're the forgotten team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, 128 to 111, they beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, uh, as promised, we wanted to get into this uh, Russell Westbrook talk. So, Matt, what's what up, you baby? Got for us, man, what you got for us? Uh, you know, when I was thinking about this and we discussed when we're going to do it, you can always say, well, let's discuss if someone's a Hall of Famer. And you're like, yes, no. But to me, you got to have some type of comparison. You can't just say, yeah, well, you, you know, eye test is a lot. But when you compare them to someone that's already played and his uh, career is already over, it does it justice. So, I decided to compare him to Gary Payton, both point guards, both about six five, six six, right? Yeah, uh, six four, six five. Yeah. Six four, six five. Uh, great defensive players, a lot of moxie, a lot of attitude. So what I'm gonna do is just give you some Gary Payton career stats and give you some Westbrook career stats, and then me and KJ will follow it up with some discussion. So let's go. Bear with me here. Gary Payton games played, one thousand three hundred thirty five. Points, 16.3 per game. Rebounds, four a game. Assists, 6.7 a game. 46.6 on the field goal percentage, 31.7 on the three-point, and 72 from the free throw line. Now, this is where I think he separates himself, Gary Payton. He's a Hall of Famer, nine-time All-Star, one-time still champ, 2006 NBA champion, nine-time All-NBA, nine-time All-Defensive team, rookie of the year in 91, and he was the Defensive Player of the Year in 1996. Guardy stats, fill up a stat sheet. Westbrook, 895 games played, 23.2 points per game, seven rebounds per game, 8.3 assists per game, 4.37 field goal percentage, 30% from the three-point line, and 79.7, which adds up to about 80% from the free throw line. Nine-time All-Star, two-time scoring champ, two-time assist champ, which I have no idea what the hell that is. And in 2016 and 17, he won the MVP. So when I look at those stats, what it tells me is that Russ scored a lot more than Gary Payton. He rebounded a lot more than Gary Payton. I was very shocked that he had more assists than GP. But to me, it seemed like GP, who was a Hall of Famer, had him on the on the. He was more consistent. What's yeah, definitely. Yeah, he was definitely more consistent. And what's fascinating about these two is, um, you would say that the the ability of both players, they're about talent wise, they're about on the same level. Yeah. But as we all know, defense. That, that's a mindset. That's a, that's a heart thing. And it feels like Russell Westbrook, he's in it for his own reasons. It doesn't really seem like he's really trying to win a championship. It's like, if I win it, I win it. But it seems like he's more of a, I know people used to say LeBron James is a stat stuffer, but this dude, he's the quintessential stat stuffer. And most of the time his team 
doesn't win. Like the, the goal is to win. And most of the time his team is kind of hovering around eight to 10 games over 500. And he just doesn't seem like the greatest team player. Whereas Gary Payton, he is the quintessential team player. And I think that's why uh, Russell Westbrook had more uh, points and things of that nature. I, I think one, one year he wanted to be the steel champion. Did, did you say that? Uh, yeah, Westbrook? he was. He, and, but the, see, he had that in his mind. He had said that to the media that he wanted to do that. So, I, and plus the era that we play in, I don't really buy too much into the points. Think about it. If Gary Payton played in this era, he, he would have way – he probably would have double the points. See, I, I agree 100% with what you said. What confuses me is that perception lead us to believe that Gary Payton – didn't score as much, but he did more in other facets of the game. Exactly. But when you look at the stats, Russell Westbrook is almost two assists. What well, he's 0.4 assists away from having two over GP. That confuses me. Russell Westbrook has 8.3 assists a game. Uh, and you know what? It also, you got to take into account when the assists happen during the game. I, w- I wish they had a stat of quality assists. Because if you're getting blown out and you're still getting assists, I mean, what? I mean, who cares, really? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure Gary Payton, the quality of his assists when when the team was in tight games and stuff like. If you went and looked at Westbrook stats and looked at the assists he gives out in tight, close games, I bet you it's probably two or three, because he's trying to score. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, he, so, it seemed like maybe he's trying to stuff the stat sheet to actually aim out to get the MVP. Well, two yeah. times he not the MVP. But a triple double. He did yeah. it twice, right? Twice yeah, in the year twice. since Oscar Robinson. Yeah. Right? He did it twice. He averaged a triple double and he aimed out to do that. Did he care about the wins and the losses? I don't, see, the thing about Oscar Robinson is he won a championship one of them years. Yeah. When he was averaging a triple double. West, Westbrook, when he was uh, getting his triple doubles, they weren't even make, well, they were making the playoffs, but they, you know, they weren't making any real noise. They were getting knocked out in the first round. So yeah. Um tell me this. I have a question for you. Do you think at the end of his career, when it's all said and done, and they're sitting around a table, right? Mm-hmm. Similar to how Shaq and Kobe was, remember, and they started admitting what they should have done and shouldn't have done right with each yeah. other or whatever. Yeah. Do you think GP, I mean, do you think Westbrook is gonna admit to Kevin Durant that he should have let him control the team? Russell Westbrook seems like the type of dude that would get down to one of those shows or conversations and be like, man, I was trying to get mine. Yeah. Like, he seemed like the type of dude, his attitude was like, I'm trying to get mine and I'm not really worried about what nobody else has to say but about by it. By all accounts, he's a great teammate. See, that's another, he does go all out. He's a, he's a, he's a baller when it comes to hustling and hard work and having that dog mentality, like, like he can be a Kobe. Yeah. He's just not as efficient as making the shots. That's right, where you, kind of, you know what? You're right. And that's why I wanted to compare these two. To me, they have similar jump shots as well. Yeah. But when it all comes down to it, Russell Westbrook's flaw is going to be the jump shot. Yeah, the jump shot. Is he not working on it? What do you think? As, as a former, like you took basketball more. So, I mean, I played basketball in high school, but I wasn't like you. You played AAU. Baseball was my thing. Um, is he just not working on it? Is he just relying on his athleticism? He's working on it. You could tell he definitely worked on the pull-up free throw, maybe a little bit, 20, I don't know, 24 feet. I feel like he's better at that than a wide-open jump shot. Yeah, yeah. You know, Russ plays so fast. If I had one, if I had some advice to give him while he was in his career and he was willing to listen, I would have been like, I know you predicate your game off of speed and strength, but every now and then when you know in your mind you're about to shoot the ball, Slow it down a little bit. You see how Dantich play? Yeah. Yep. See how yeah. Dantich play? Don't even yeah. look like he's moving fast. No, not at all. You know, I, I watched him last yeah. night. He put in some work on Dane. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, you're right, man. And he is he a shooting guard now? No, point guard, baby. Point guard. Oh, yeah. okay. 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 Yeah, man. Uh Russell Westbrook, all the talent in the world. Um, I'm I'm just not really sure if he'll ever win a championship. You know what I would love to see? I would love to see. I don't know how this could work out. I would love to see Russell Westbrook somehow get to the Lakers, him and LeBron, and I would love to see them meet up against the the Nets. The Nets? You know, I would be rooting for the Nets, of course, but... You would? I would yeah, like to see I, Russell Westbrook get you know, the over The thing is, Durant. I couldn't be mad if he won one. I'm yeah. rooting for him. You know, I'm I think that for would him. be... For, for, for him to get a championship, I think he would... I'm not going to say he would listen. He's a grown man, so I don't want to use the word he'll listen to LeBron. 
but I think he'll kind of fall in line he'll as conform. far as what your role is. Yes. And I, he'll like, conform. I think he would, too. And I don't think he'll be doing much different. No. The thing would be the ball wouldn't be in his hand all the time. That's, That's the where thing. the problem ran, where they ran into that problem in OKC. Yep. Durant didn't necessarily have to have the ball. They just needed another point guard, maybe a shooting guard, that can control the floor when Russell sits on the um, bench. You yeah. know, but Russ, he don't want to sit on the bench. He, he, he wanted right. that ball all the time, especially in crunch time. You know, sometimes he come down and jack up four shots in a row. Yeah. I, I kind of I look at him as a poor man's AI. Yeah. Because AI was kind of the same way. He's like, I'm not coming off no damn. I'm not coming off a bench. I'd rather retire. And I'm not saying – I think AI had more of a heart of a champion. Like, you know, no, no, I give them both equal with oh, the heart. Oh, yeah, that's you true. You know what it comes to? What you mentioned earlier. The jump shot. The jump shot. It's not consistent. AI had that jump shot. You leave AI open, it's going in. It's sweet. You don't even need to leave him open. Cross yeah, him and do a little fadeaway baseline on him, you know? I always say if he was six foot six, man, we'd be talking about AI as being the greatest player of all time. Yeah, but I mean, he'll be, yeah, he'll be one of the best of all time, 100%. So definitely. tell me this, wrapping this up, not necessarily 100%, but do you think he's a Hall of Famer? I definitely think he's a Hall of Famer. Those two, those two MVPs, the, the triple doubles, getting to a, a, a finals, getting to the Western Conference finals a couple of times. Is he a first ballot? Depends on – is there a certain amount of people that get picked? Because I know in baseball, only a certain amount can get in in one year. We discussed if, this if, before on the podcast. If that's, uh, if that's what, the case with the NBA, then it depends on who's going well, in. Well, in the NBA, when you're up – you can get in. So there's no amount of people that can get in one year? No. So, so you can have 20 people getting in if, if they all deserve it. Yeah, because remember we discovered, we, we also discussed that it covers college, coaching, WNBA, so college, I think their wrong, college. I think you can only have a certain number of NBA players, certain number of WNBA players, certain number of coaches, and a certain yeah, number Yeah, of- but the thing about basketball is that when they're up it's always a slot for them yeah that's true too like I'm wondering like just how Kobe and Duncan and Garnett and if Westbrook was in that class just hypothetically speaking would he have gotten in that year no as compared to those guys he's no no he wouldn't definitely not that level you have um, heavy latent star ballot sometime then sometimes you have like a down ballot. I think the year Tarazi got in was a down ballot. Yeah. You yeah, know? You're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it happens. It all depends on yeah, it all depends on who retires and uh, and whatnot. But anyway, um Oh well, well let question. me say uh yeah, you- make a long story short, I think he's a Hall of Famer and I don't think he's a first ballot though. Yeah, I, I yeah, I I'm on I'm I'm on the fence with the first ballot. Depends on who goes in at that time. So exactly. depends on when he retires. If he retires with LeBron and let's say Curry, LeBron, um, Kawhi, let's say they all retire the same year. Just yeah. like, he might not get in that year. You know no, what I mean? I agree. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, uh, make sure you hit the like button. We forgot to mention that in the beginning. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you like what you hear, definitely join us. We're going to be putting out two videos every single week. Don't forget Um, to leave a comment, baby. We love the discussion and the back and forth banter. It's awesome. I'm loving this. I'm loving it. I hope y'all are enjoying it as much as we are on this journey. Sorry, Ken. Yes, sir. Um, One more quick side note. Uh, Go to www.sportsfansonlyshow.com, and you can get all your good uh, sports fans only apparel. Got a lot of shirts, stuff like this. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it. Oh, I see it. Looking good, baby. Yeah, we we color code them all to different professional sports teams, so the ones we have, uh, uh, just go check it out. Uh, A lot of good stuff, uh, pens, mugs, all that good stuff. So uh, anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining us. I'm your host, uh, KJ, and that's Sean Matt. And this is Sports Fans Only.